Hi everybody, Breaking Ebs here. Oh, excuse me, and welcome to today's video. So today's video again was requested by quite a few of you. So um, I've taken my uh, main gaming PC, uh, which as you all know had Zorin OS on it. Uh, that's saved. I've removed all the SATA SSDs and I've installed an NVMe drive and a couple of SATA one SSD and one HDD. Um, so as you can see, it's a significant upgrade on the 15-year-old e-waste PC. This is approximately a five-year-old e-waste PC because I still don't know if Windows 11 24H2 will support and approve a Ryzen 5 1600AF 6-core 12-thread processor. Nobody, even Microsoft, can tell me. So, meh, I'm going to mitigate that by just not bothering with Microsoft Windows. We've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, whereas on the previous e-waste we had 8 gigabytes of DDR3. And on this one, we've got an AMD <coughs> Raiden RX 580 8 gigabyte graphics card. So that's a significant upgrade on the GDX10 50 Ti 4 gigabytes graphics card. So we're all AMD. So I'm hoping that everything goes really tickety boo. So what have I done so far? I've installed the operating system to the NVMe drives. I've formatted both the other drives. All three drives are formatted in ButterFS. So we'll see how reliable and how good that goes. Now the operating system on my 15 year old e-waste PC was lightning. So I expect a big improvement on this machine. However, this machine will allow me access to virtual boxing, which the original machine with only eight gigs of RAM would not. <coughs> Excuse me. So. We've got stacks and stacks of space. We've got super fast NVMe SSDs for gaming. We've got a fast SATA SSD for video recording. And we've got a two terabyte HDD for virtual boxing. Should be absolutely everything we need. Fingers crossed. Okay, so what's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings and Wi-Fi and networking. And I'm gonna specify my manual IP address and my manual DNS server. Put those in under IPv4, change everything to manual, and click apply. Um, the KDE wallet system has requested to create a new wallet named KDE wallet. This is used to store sensitive data in a secure fashion. Please choose the new wallets type below or click cancel to deny the applications request use gpg encryption for better protection or use the classic blowfish encrypted file i'm going to use the classic blowfish that should be plenty good enough for me so <clears throat> we need to put a super secure password in here uh, so Let's see if it complains. No, it doesn't complain. Password strength meter is pretty good. Okay, let's click OK. <clears throat> uh, and now if we go back to general configuration, uh, I think it's this one here. Yep. If we right click and left click disconnect. One, two, three, four, five. Right click and left click connect. We should now be loaded in with our manual IP address and our new DNS server, which of course is Cloudflare. So that's the first bit of the initial setup done. What's next? Well, um, uh, you're right, it's all right. I was looking for something specifically. 
let's open the terminal and let's do a sudo ufw enable i don't know if kde plasma uses ufw or whether it uses a k version no ufw is there <coughs> uh, firewall is active and enabled on system startup so we've secured our dns server we've put a manual ip address in and we've activated the firewall <coughs> brilliant what's the next bit of the setup that we need to do well we need to go to the cache os hello <laughs> and we need to go to apps and tweaks and um, the first thing we need to do is refresh our key rings so let's refresh the key wings key wings uh, press exit to enter the next thing we need to do is rank all the mirrors using the fixed IP address and the new DNS server and let it decide on what it wants to use for pulling updates down <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I do this every time I update the system. You might not want to, um, but have found that this negates any potential issues when you're doing updates. So always refresh your key rings, always re rank your mirrors so that you always get the quickest, cleanest possible update. Okay, and now left click on system update. <coughs> Excuse me, do apologize. Uh, and let it go ahead and run the system upgrade. Okay, so that's what we've got to upgrade. Do you want to proceed with the installation? Yes, please. And off it goes. Is that it? Wow. Okay, so now at this point in time, I'm going to reboot the computer, repeat that process to make sure we are bang up to date. And then I'll begin part two, which will be um, installing all my gaming software. And part three will be customizing it or bastardizing it, depending highly upon your own point of view. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.